In this lesson, we will learn about special characters. In HTML, a special character is a punctuation mark or a symbol or any other character that we cannot simply type directly into a text editor. So for example, in front of you, I have included a list of the top 10 most common HTML special characters that you should be familiar with. Now let's hop into our text editor and blast through these. The first special character in our list is write single quote. So the code for that is ampersands, which you can usually get by holding shift on your keyboard and then the number seven. So it's ampersands and then RSQUO semicolon. If we save and refresh in our browser, we can see there's the symbol. Next up, left single quote. It's exactly like the one we just typed out, only with an L instead of an R for left. So L S Q U O semicolon. Right double quote. You can probably guess it's ampersands and then R D for double Q U O semicolon. Left double quote, ampersands, L D quo semicolon. So if I save and refresh in the web browser, we can see the various symbols. Now you may be thinking, why do I need special codes for these symbols? I have a button on my keyboard to the left of my enter or return key, and I can simply use that to create these symbols. Well, the reason you don't want to do that is twofold. Number one, we use these symbols in HTML syntax, so it's probably not a good idea to get those mixed up when you're actually trying to output text. And number two, those keystrokes aren't angled to the left or the right the way that these proper punctuation marks are. Moving on, ampersands. Again, because we use the ampersand symbol in HTML codes, you don't want to simply type the ampersand symbol when you want to output the ampersand symbol. Instead, the code for that is the ampersand sign and then the letters amp and then a semicolon and that will output the ampersand symbol. Next up, the greater than symbol. Because we use this symbol so much in HTML syntax, we definitely do not want to simply try to output it in a text editor. So instead, the symbol for this is ampersands and then GT for greater than, less than, ampersands, LT for less than, copyright, ampersands, and then simply the word copy, and then a semicolon. We include a semicolon after all of these. Next up, the registered symbol, ampersands, reg, semicolon, trademark symbol, ampersands, trade, semicolon. So if I save and refresh, you can see a quick list of all of these very common HTML special characters. You can find a more exhaustive list of the common characters in the course materials, but there's no sense in memorizing these all in one sitting. You can look them up as you need them. I'll see you in the next lesson.